Solve equations in quadratic form. So in this series, we'll have a couple of questions where the equations will be not quadratic, but they can be seen as quadratic in different ways, okay? So this one is, for example, a degree 4 equation. We have x to the power of 4 minus 13x squared plus 36 equals to 0. But it's a trinomial. It's got three terms and the degrees are kind of even, right? So that suggests that if we make a substitution, let's say if I write t equals to x square, right? In that case, this equation can be written in quadratic form. Let's see. If t equals to x square, then x to the power of 4 is what? Then t square is x to the power of 4, correct? So I can substitute x to the power of 4 as t square and x squared as t and in doing so I will transform my degree 4 equation to a degree 2 equation which will be quadratic correct so let's do that so let me do that here t squared as t to the power of 4 so, so t squared minus 13 t plus 36 equals to 0 now clearly this is a quadratic equation now, since this is a quadratic equation, we can factor it with the rules which we have learned. And coefficient of t square is 1, so factoring will use product and sum. Product of two numbers could be 36. That's what we want, right? Product of, let's say, two numbers is equal to 36. And sum as minus 13. If we add them, we should get minus 13. So what could be these numbers? So that's what we need to figure out. So we can try a few numbers and then see what. We know 4 times 9 is 36. Perfect. So both of them work. And since we need minus 13 as their sum, the two numbers should be minus 9 and minus 4. When you add them, you get minus 13. So that works. So we can write this in factored form. And that is t minus 9 times t minus 4 equals to 0. Well, if you want, you can check, expand, and see if you get the original equation or not. Okay? So that's our factored form. Now in this factored form, what values of t can give you 0? One value, of course, is 9. The other one is 4. So let's try both of them. Now remember, what is t? t is x squared, correct? So when we say t equals to 9 is a solution, then it means x squared equals to 9 is the solution, right? That means x squared equals to 9. And when we say t equals to 4 is the solution, then it means x squared equals to 4 is a solution, correct? So, we got these two possibilities and therefore, I've drawn a line in between. Now, let's solve them. t equals to 9 means x squared equals to 9 and then what's the value of x? x will be equal to square root of 9. Is it correct? I know, I have made a mistake here. It should be plus and minus. My students sometimes overlook this. But remember, x should be plus and minus square root of 9 which gives me two answers, plus and minus 3. On this side, x squared equals to 4. I can write this as x equals to plus and minus square root of 4, which gives me two answers, plus and minus 2. So I got four sets of answers, which is x could be plus 3, minus 3, plus 2, or minus 2, right? It's a good idea to always plug and check these values. At times, you may not have the correct answer with you, right? So there are reasons for that. We'll talk about it later. Well, in this case, if you plug in plus 3 or minus 3 or plus 2 or minus 2, you will get the right answer, okay? So you can check this out. So right, since plus and minus will both, these are even terms, right? So both will give you a positive answer. So let's start checking it. So let's check it. So if I put plus 3 
to the power of 4 let me write here so I'll use plus and minus both because I know when I do to the power of 4 result is going to be positive minus 13 plus and minus 3 square plus 36 let's see how much it is right 3 to the power of 4 3 times 3 is 9 and 9 times 9 is 81 so we get plus 81 here right and 3 times 3 is 9 9 times 13 with a negative sign 9 times 3 is 27 7 and 2 9 times 1 is 9 plus 2 is 11 plus 36 so if we do this we do get 0 perfect so it works for us correct similarly we can try plus and minus true so let me try this over here okay it's a good idea to check it with calculator it is extremely fast so let's do plus and minus 2 for x so we get plus and minus 2 to the power of 4 minus 13 plus and minus 2 to the power of 2 plus 36 let's check how much it is 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 2 8 8 times 2 16 so that gives me plus 16 and here it is 4 times 13 with a negative sign 4 times 3 is 12 and 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 5 52 so 13 times 4 is 52 a pack of cards 52 when you distribute in 4 people you get a hand of 13 right that's how I remember 52 is 13 times 4 it's a good thing to know plus 36 when we add 16 and 36 we do get 52 so 52 minus 52 is 0 so we checked it out and we found well the solution works correct therefore our answer is x equals to plus and minus 3 or plus and minus 2 so so the answer is x equals to plus and minus 2 and plus and minus 3